We'll again reassemble this starting with the power supply. Now this is the power supply. The first thing is we connect the grounding screw. Okay. The grounding screw we connect is this is a machine screw as it goes into the metal part. So this is how we do that. This is very very important screw which we should not miss when we are in the site and when we are replacing the power supply. This is the AC inlet and this is the power switch which goes in this slot. It goes in this slot. Now this particular thing sits on the four screws which we have which we said the screws this is again the uh, cell threaded screw which goes on the plastic part so it becomes very easier then this is the machine screw which goes here This is the DC cable. Now this is the DC output which comes on this connector okay, and which goes into the logic card. Now we will see how we install the, the logic card. Logic card sits, we need to see the slots. They sit on 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, here we start. Cable which comes and this is the power connector which is there on the main logic card so this sits we need to install it properly connect matching the pins these are the male pins and this is a female connector okay so which has to be matched properly and installed so this is where we complete installing the power supply this is the power supply with the AC inlet switch and then this is the main board or the logic card okay now this is the mechanism we will again reinstall we ensure that all these cables are not obstructing and go beneath this particular mechanism and ensure that all these the stands or the things are put in proper location of the lower case this is how you put it and just check whether all the connectors are along here and none of the connectors should get entangled in this area this is one thing now we say that this is the carriage connector this is the PF connector now one beauty of this is the logic card has very clear cut demarcations of PF motor, carriage motor. So each corresponding connector goes at that respective location. This is the friction tractor. This is the paper and, sen paper and sensor. This is the multi-part. This is the 3-pin home position sensor and this is the plunger connector. So this is how we install the all connectors and there are 5 screws of this type 
which has to be connected 1 2 3 4 and here 5 so this is how the connectors are this one of the screw we are tightening and that is how you connect all the other 5 screws ok now these two are called the head cable now this is one is the bigger one is 17 pin and the smaller one is 15 pin and this have these two connectors that is how they go we have to really be careful while installing these connectors uh, and these are pretty expensive in the market so ensure that this is installed properly otherwise we have problems of dot firing problems this is one thing now this is one more very important part of the printer which we say as a control panel control panel which has four buttons on the left hand side if you see here one is the load eject, line feed, form feed and online and then there are two buttons one button is for the font changing and one is for the pitch and there are various fonts which you can select there are 10 7 LQ fonts and there are six pitches where you can select and it has also LEDs which will glow power data and paper out and the fourth LED is the online LED now this this is the control panel so this this is the control panel connector this control panel connector sits on the this part where the panel is written now this is how it gets installed and this is how the all the connectors are connected on the logic card this is the tractor unit which has this left hand side sprocket assembly this is called as a paper guide and this is the right hand side sprocket assembly these are the locks this is how it gets locked and this is how it is free and this is the tractor gear this particular white gear is called a tractor gear which engages with the with this particular gear in the assembly so this is the tractor gear engages with the paper transmission gear now this is how this particular tractor sits with this machine screws this machine screws which are there one year and one year particularly the upper case assembly which goes and sits here ok now this is the place where our control panel sits a control panel is very simple you just guide it it is a snap fitting on the so this is how the whole upper case assembly is fitted which sits on this locks which are there which get snaps into the lower case print head now this print head there are two connectors two connectors and these are two cables so this is how this is one cable and this is the other cable so this is how this sit and there are two screws which are fitted on this this is one screw how the head this is the d-shape connector this is a d-shape uh, this thing so which will go and fit in this so this is how this is called the platen knob which helps to manually rotate or remove the paper or advance the paper this is one and after the final screw which there is one more screw which sits here which helps to cover the upper case we, this is the 132 column ribbon now this ribbons they sit on 1 2 3 4 snaps in this 
notches and this is how this ribbon is installed this is how the ribbon sits in the printer